Hey guys, welcome back. So it's been about four months since I created my initial video on how you can install and run applications from a USB drive on your Fire Stick. Now, since making that video, lots of other YouTubers have also made similar videos, which is great, which means more people can benefit from this solution. Now, as a direct result of that, there's now just so many people asking questions about USB storage on a Fire Stick. Everything from, you know, how can I migrate applications from the internal drive to my USB drive? How can I check the free space of my USB drive? What happens if I unplug my USB drive and so on and so forth? So I thought I'd make this quick video today and answer some of those common questions and hopefully clear up some of that confusion. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'll start with this question because I received it today from one of my regular viewers called Chris. And he was asking that how can we check the free space of our internally formatted a USB drive? Now, as we know, when we do format these drives, either you can format all of it as internal storage, or maybe you can do 50-50. So 50% internal, 50% external. Now he was asking, how can you check the free space or how can you check the consumption or the usage of the partition formatted as internal storage? Now, this is not that easy to do. And the reason for that is, is that partition has already been mounted by the Fire Stick. So if another application tries to access it or tries to check the free space, either it will crash or it will just give you an error message. Now, the closest that I've got via an application is using ES Explorer. But again, as soon as you check the option to, I want to mount the internal storage, the application just crashes. So how can we check the space? Well, to check the space, guys, we have to use a command line. And to do that, we'll be making an ADB connection to our Fire Stick and we'll ask via ADB for the Fire Stick to tell us exactly how much space we've used on our internally formatted USB drive. So for that, I'm gonna open up Remote ADB Shell. Now, of course, this is available on my downloads page. And if you haven't got that, I will leave a link in the video description and also the pinned comment. So once again, we're gonna make a connection to ourselves. So we'll leave the IP address as 127.0.0.1 and the port number is always 5555. Let's click on connect. Now, presumably you guys are familiar with this now because for you to actually format the drive in the first place, you would have used some kind of ADB. Okay, so the command we're going to type in by using just a standard remote control is just DF, so that's Delta Foxtrot space and then minus and the letter H for helicopter. Let's click on run. Let's press the back button. And the very last line where we can see forward slash MNT, which means mount point. So the expand mount point is your internally formatted storage. And we can see on my device, I've used up 263 meg out of 28 gig. And that's basically the easiest way or the most accurate way I've found to check the free space of your internally formatted USB drive. If I install any application from the official Amazon App Store, where does that installation actually go? Does that go to my USB drive or does it go to internal storage? Let's just demonstrate that now. So here, for example, is an application called Send Faster TV on the official Amazon App Store. Let's install that now. But I can tell you right now, guys, any application from the official Amazon App Store will always default to the internal storage because obviously Amazon don't expect you to have any kind of you know OTG or external storage. And there it is, guys. So this just confirms that any application you install from the official Amazon App Store will always default to the internal storage of your Fire Stick or Fire device. It won't care about any external storage that you've got plugged in. However, any application you install from Downloader or really any place except the official Amazon App Store will always default to the USB drive as long as that's been configured correctly. So let's quickly test that now. So in Downloader, I've downloaded this file manager called Explore. Let's click on that. And let's just confirm where this actually installs to. Okay, let's, let's click on Done. Let's go back to Settings and Managed Applications. And there we can just see there, guys. So this has confirmed that this application, because it was installed from a place, not the official Amazon App Store, it has actually installed it to the USB drive, which is exactly what we want. Now, here's a very common question. Can I use the USB storage process on the second generation Fire TV stick? And unfortunately, the answer to that is no. And the reason for that is the commands that we actually use to uh, format the drive, or format the partition, things like SM partition, SM list disks, 
all those commands were actually added into Android version 6, which is Android Marshmallow. Now the second generation Fire TV stick runs Fire OS 5 and Fire OS 5 is Android 5. Now for you to run these commands, your device has to be running Fire OS 6 or higher for this process to work. And as we can just see on my device, if you go over to my Fire TV, go to about and we can see mine is running Fire OS 6. So that's probably the quickest thing you can do on your device is just double check and make sure if your device is running Fire OS version 6 or higher, then you can follow this process. Anything below that, unfortunately, it's not going to work. The next question is, can I use a USB hub with my USB drive? And the answer to that is yes. So let's just demonstrate that now. So let's unplug this from our OTG cable. Okay, we get the message that's unplugged. Let's now find a USB hub. Let's use this Ugreen one here. So this is a Ugreen multifunction hub and it's multifunction because you've got three USB 3 ports and you also have gigabit ethernet. So let's now plug that in. Let's now plug in our USB drive. Let's just go for this port over here. Let's see, did we get the notification? Yes, we do. Let's see if we can actually run an application from the USB drive plugged into a USB hub via the OTG cable onto the Fire Stick. So let's go to applications. Okay, we can see exports running from the USB drive. Can I open that up? And that's working absolutely fine. So that just shows you once again, you can actually use a USB hub for your USB drive into your Fire Stick. Okay, let's back out of that. The next question is really two questions in one. Firstly, how can I find the package name of something that's already installed on my device? And secondly, how can I move something that's installed on my USB drive back to the internal storage? So for the first part, there's an application called App Info, and this is available on my downloads page. Let's open that up. This thing here, App Info. And this will basically show all of the applications you have installed on your device, and it'll also give you their package name. Now we know on my device, I just installed Explore File Explorer onto the USB drive. So let's say we want to find what the package name is so we can then move it back to the internal storage. So let's find the package name first. Let's bring up the virtual mouse. Let's scroll down and we're looking for Explore in the list here because we know that's actually running on my USB drive. There it is there. So once you see the application, let's click on it. And that then gives you the package name straight away. So we know this package name for the Explore application is com dot lonely cat games dot explore so that's the package name we want to use if you want to move this now in our example we want to move it back to the internal storage how do we do that let's go back to adb and as we know inside adb to bring up any previous commands let's just press and hold let's find the move here it is now as we know guys when you want to move something to the usb drive you have to have the big volume name now to move something back to the internal storage instead of having the volume name you just type in internal so let's just edit this command and just while we're waiting for me to type this in if you are enjoying these videos guys then please do take a moment to hit that like button and also think about subscribing if you are interested in more videos on the fire stick on the second generation fire tv cube on the nvidia shield pro and even your standard Android TV boxes. If you do want to see more tutorials on like that, then definitely hit the like button and also think about subscribing. Thank you. So once again, it says PM space move hyphen package, the package name that we got from App Info, and then you need to put internal at the end of it, which tells you, which tells the device that you want to move something back to internal storage. So let's just type in internal. All right, let's see if we can run that now. I click on run, let's press back. Do we get any errors? Aha, uh -huh, we get a success. And let's just do the final test now. Let's press the home key. Go back into settings. Let's just confirm that the Fire Stick can see that this application, which was previously installed to the USB drive, should not have any kind of USB logo next to it. So let's go to the bottom. And there it is, guys. So we can now see we've now successfully moved an application that was previously installed on the USB drive back to internal storage. And of course, if you open it up, we can confirm that's working absolutely fine. There you go. Okay, let's back out of that. The next question we have is, what if you actually unplug your USB drive whilst your Fire Stick is on? What happens to your applications? Well, if we just go over to your installed applications now, just so we can confirm what is currently running from the USB drive, managed applications. And here, for example, we can see we have app info running from USB. 
Uh, let's just find two of these applications together. And here, for example, we can see IP Vanish and the care application and this Motor Racing 3D are all running from the USB drive. Now, obviously I don't recommend this, but if you were to unplug it, these applications should then just disappear. So let's now unplug my USB drive and let's see what happens. Now, obviously I don't recommend you do this guys, but let's see what happens. Okay, we get the message that there's an unexpected removal, but we can see these applications are still here because the screen has not refreshed. So if I press back on the remote now, and go back in. We should see now app info is not there anymore. And scrolling down, we can see both IP Vanish and the care application are not in the list anymore. So that's basically what happens when you do unplug your USB drive where your applications are. Now, similarly, if you go to your apps library, I believe you will see these empty tiles. And also this application we can see was also running from a USB, but because we've unplugged the USB drive, this is why we don't see the app logo or the app icon anymore. So that's essentially what happens when you unplug your USB drive where your applications were previously installed. Now, if I plug that back in, let's see if that actually dynamically updates or if we have to go back out and back in again. Let's give that a second. There's the logo there. Okay, so no change here, but if I go back out and we can see they'll come back here. And if I press and hold the home key, Go back into the apps library, go to the bottom of this list, and there you can see these are the applications once again, guys. So that, once again, is what happens if you remove your USB drive where your applications were previously installed. Well, that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching and many thanks for staying till the end. If you did find this video useful, then please do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always welcome your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.